Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you had a lovely new year and that 2024 is treating you well so far. Despite the fact we're halfway through January 2024, I have actually still not done the finale for my 12 pans of Christmas project pan. Now the products and the updates are still exactly where they were on the 25th of December which was when I should have filmed this update. Basically the last quarter of last year was just super busy for me. I was very rarely at home, very rarely had any time to myself that I would have been able to, or, well I didn't have any time that I was able to film. And then in an unsurprising turn of events after a lot of busy times with no rest periods, I ended up quite unwell. So this is my first weekend that I have actually had a day to myself where I've also not sounded like Darth Vader. So I have been waiting for those conditions to happen so that I could film this. So although it's uh, a bit late being filmed and edited and shown to you, the product update is exactly where it was on the day of the end of the project. So yeah, let's uh, get on into it and close off my Christmas project pan on January the 14th I think it is today. So yeah. Better late than never. I will start with the makeup products and I will start on a high note, which is my eyebrow pencil. As suspected, I have managed to finish it. So I'm really, really pleased with that. So this is the MAC Eyebrow Styler in the shade Lingering. Ironically, I was trying to get this out of my collection because I didn't think it was really matching my hair anymore because my hair had gone, I'd gone a bit brighter with it last year. Um, but I've gone back to a slightly darker shade now, which this actually now works perfectly well but anyway it's nice to have it used up moved out and I've got two other eyebrow pencils to to use in my collection so I wasn't really winning anything by not using it up and um, so yeah pleased that it has been done within the project and as I say we're really behind so I still need to calculate my December empties which I have kept separate to my January empties which I have started collecting so I will close off my 2023 inventories in the next couple of videos with you uh, before I calculate the 2024 ones with all the things I got for Christmas and everything I had it in so never a fun task but there we are so yeah I can count this into my December empties and it's one less thing in my collection. Second makeup product that I got is my highlight and I'm really sad to say I never hit pan. Um, I'm surprised that I never hit pan. In this part of the base of the product you can very clearly see the outline of the squares that are on the pan. I'm very very close to the pan but we never quite hit it. I mean I'm not complaining because this is a beautiful beautiful product. I absolutely love it. I I don't really want to use it up and not have it in my collection or anything so I'm not I'm not desperate to try and hit pan but it would have been nice just to have seen a little sliver of it you know for the end of the project but that hasn't happened. I will be doing a 2024 project pan so I'm currently debating at the moment. I'm definitely going to have a highlight of some sort in there. I've got a short list of three and this is one of them so I am debating do I put this in my main project pan for next year or do I work on something else and then maybe see if I could finish something else through that project if I could reintroduce this in 12 Pans of Christmas 2024 and hope for pan that time around. So we'll see what happens. Never got the pan in this project unfortunately but I really enjoyed using it. It's beautiful. It's, I mean the packaging is just so beautiful. It's such a joy to use so uh, I'm happy that it's it's not, you know, anywhere near being out of my collection really. Something that I made no real progress on is my foundation stick but I think this could actually be quite near to being out of my collection. I'm just not sure that I like this that much. I did find ways to use it, it's a little bit too stark white for me. It, it probably actually is a good match to my neck but I just feel when I've got it on my face it I just look like a sort of you know invalid from a Victorian 
you know, a Dickens novel or something that should be lying in bed coughing weakly. The foundation that I got on today is the Sculpted by Amy Satin Silk foundation. Now, I got Shade Match this whilst I was in Dublin. I knew I wanted their selection box as part of my Christmas. Um, so I went to get the Shade Match in the shop when I went to Dublin in December. And they actually, the exact shade match for me would have been one shade lighter than this. So their shades go like 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5. So technically half a shade, I suppose, lighter than this would have matched my neck perfectly. But we put it on and the girl was like, it's totally up to you. It does match your neck. But we put the other, the shade that I went for on, on the other side. And it, I just looked a bit healthier. Um, you know, although technically the, the slightly paler shade was the exact right match for my neck, this one just, I think, still, I don't think it looks like my face is too dark for my neck or anything, but I just look a bit less stark. This is more work than is worth the enjoyment that I get out of using it. I have a few foundations in my collection that I think I'm ready to say goodbye to. It's possibly a combination of two things that... There's a few foundations that seem to be in the same category in my collection. One of them is Simply Age. I'm just kind of wondering if with time, although things aren't breaking me out and still seem to be okay, maybe the pigments are slightly changing um, because, the, I mean, basically the majority of my collection is expired. So it's possibly that. And then I wonder as well if it's just possibly like foundation ranges used to be so much more sparse that you know, the likes of being able to go up half a shade in this foundation and have it just sort of take the edge off of that starkness. But without looking like my face is a completely different shade from my neck, that that just wouldn't have been the case. Even like, I, I don't even feel like, like that long ago, like maybe like five years ago or something, like the jump between shades would have been significantly different enough that if one worked for me, the next one would have been far too dark. Um, so being able to go to a 1.5 in this, I think that's what I went for. Oh no, sorry, I'm a 1.0 so I must have been a 0 0.5 if I was doing the exact match. So being able to go up from a 0 0.5 to a 1 just wouldn't have been the case. Um, you know, the, the difference between the first shade and the second shade would have been huge and I wouldn't have been able to jump like that. So it's probably, I think, a combination of both of those that there are definitely foundations in my collection that could go and I think like spending a little bit of time with this in the run up to Christmas has shown me that this is is one of them as much as it was very expensive. I think although I didn't really make a good dent in this in the project I am still so glad that I put it in because I think I wouldn't have realised that about this foundation otherwise so yeah although it's not anywhere near finished I think this foundation will also be leaving my collection. For my perfume, the last one that was left from my set of three was Eau de Lingerie and it has now been finished so this is completely empty so that's also out of my collection. Joining the ranks of out of my collection is this Medicaid Retinol. This is completely finished up. You can't really see that, but it is completely finished up. I really enjoyed this. I've got a bigger size of it, which I am going to get out of the loft whilst I'm doing my, my 2024 inventories next weekend and start using. So really glad that I put this in and got to know the product and can now start using the bigger size. The last empty from this project is my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. So that is completely done. I feel like because the inside of the tub is just white and the cream itself was just white, it's uh, 
not the most clear thing for you guys to be able to see but it is completely finished so I am very glad to have that out of my collection. It was an 125ml moisturiser. That was by far the biggest facial moisturiser in my collection. So very pleased to have knocked that one out. And the last product still in for the finale is my Origins Maskamizer Face Mist. So I did bring that down another little bit. I think I would quite like to get this out of my collection. I don't dislike it enough to want to declutter it though. So I think I probably will be putting this into my 2024 project pan to actually try and use the rest of it. So do stay tuned for that because the, the intro to that will come fairly soon. I think the next video after this though will be the finale to my 2023 main project pan. Then I have my December empties and the closing off of my 2023 inventories to film and share with you all and see if I hit the goals that I was planning to hit in 2023. And from there then I can do my 2024 inventories and you know set some new goals for this year. So uh, I know I'm a little bit behind in playing a little bit of catch up. I do think it's important to close off this stuff first before starting the new stuff so I hope you will bear with me and be patient and just treat January like a sort of extended Christmas period on my channel um so yeah thank you very much for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you next week with the finale of my main 2023 project pattern bye <laughs>